This is how you can get the most powerful gun in Blocks Fruits that will give you an advantage over your enemy. And these are all other third C must haves that you must get if you want to be the best end game player. So if you want to be the best make sure to watch this video till the end. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout make sure to leave a like and a sub and tell me in the comments what is your favorite third C item. If you are learning combos chances are that you are going to find yourself in need for a good gun. And since there is plenty of them in Blocks Fruits, which one should you pick? Fortunately there is a few good guns in the third C that should satisfy your needs. One of them is Serpent Bow. It is a legendary gun which you can obtain by defeating level 1675 Boss Island Empress who is located at the palace in Hydra Island. Why is it good? It has huge damage, good range, very short M1 cooldown, good combo extensor and it can break instinct. And combined with huge range it can prove incredibly useful both in grinding and PvP. So what about other guns? Well another really good two guns are Kabuch and Soul Guitar. How to get them? You can get Kabucha by exchanging Frag 1500 with the strongest god on Uso Apps Island located at the southeast of the Kingdom of Rose. And for the Soul Guitar since it's a mythical gun there is a special process that you need to follow in order to get it which I leave you at the end of the video. So, these three guns are all a must have and which one you will play with depends on your playstyle. So get all three of them and try them out so you can find your favorite one. But enough with the guns. If you are a swordsman, sword main, there is one special sword that I think is the biggest must have if you want to get the best sword. So, it's no other than Curse Dual Katana. Now of course, you will firstly need to get the Yama and Tushita in order to get this sword but also these two swords are both must haves. So you are going to use one of these two until you get your Curse Dual Katana. Well how to get it? So just like I said you will firstly need to get Yama and Tushita and then do a special obtainment process which I will leave a guide to at the end of the video. Why is CDK a must have? Aside from obtainment process and mastery requirements everything about this sword is really good. Great range and mobility, multi-target attacks, insanely fast attacks, great for combos, very high damage, decent hitboxes. Definitely the best sword that you can obtain free to play. Let me ask you something. What is one thing that you wasted the most amount of time on in Blocks Fruits? In my case that is traveling. I used Buddha mostly throughout my journey to Max and it is not the best fruit when it comes to mobility. So how can you travel between islands fast with a slow fruit? Well you can somewhat achieve that with portals. What do I mean somewhat? Well you won't be able to go to any island since these portals are only located at the castle on the sea. But, since these islands are the ones that you will need to travel the most between getting portals will be insanely beneficial. So how to get them? These portals can be unlocked by defeating the level 5000 boss rip underscore Indra who you can spawn by getting a god's chalice by defeating elite enemies, which is pretty difficult. But it's definitely worth it. There are a couple accessories in the third C that you must get if you really want to boost your stats. And these are Pale Scarf, Pilot Helmet, Swan Glasses and Hunter Cape. And every one of them is good for something. Pale Scarf is legendary accessory that you can get by defeating Cake Prince or the Do King boss. These are buffs that it gives, it's mainly for bounty hunting and PvP. You can get Pilot Helmet accessory by killing the Stone boss, 10% chance. And here are its buffs. It's mainly focused on agility so you can outrun the bounty hunters. Swan glasses can be obtained from the Don Swan boss who is actually in the second C. But, since it's such a good accessory it is a must have even in the third C. And lastly, Hunter Cape can be obtained by defeating elite enemies in the third C. As you can see it has insanely buffs which improve a lot of stats so it's a must have. So make sure you get every one of these accessories and see what's the best one for you. There are two fighting styles that you must own if you play let's say with Buddha and need a good fighting style. And these two are God Human and Electric Claw. Now, it's clear why God Human is a must have. It's the ultra end game fighting style and hardest fighting style to obtain. So it definitely is the best one. But what should you use before you get God Human? Well that's Electric Claw comes in. It's easy to get and it has insanely fast attacks with low knockback making it one of the best grinding fighting styles, if you pair it with Buddha. And if you're interested on how to get these fighting styles I will leave you a guide at the end of the video. Getting Race V4 is really essential if you want to be competitive in PvP. Why? It will give you special abilities that will allow you to have an advantage over your opponent so you can win the fight. Which may sound a bit confusing. But really no matter what race you are you should definitely try to get it to the V4 as soon as possible. Since it's a difficult and long process starting early will result in easier obtainment. There are a ton of people who will share you full moon servers or mirage island so you have no excuses. So go and get it. 
and last but not the least thing that you must own in the third C is Observation V2 or Instinct V2. Why? Faster dodge recharges, bigger and more clear vision, ability to see opponents items and much more. How do I get it? Well how to get Observation V2, God Human, Portals and all other things mentioned in this video you can find here. These are all step by step detailed guides but if you have some more question feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you find this video helpful make sure to leave a like and a sub to let me know that I should make more useful content. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.